going on guys it's Cal here from KR Sabers and this is going to be an instructional video on how to add fonts to your Verso soundboard we've had quite a few queries from customers already before asking how to add fonts or they've had some trouble adding the fonts mainly due to the file name and restructure changes that were made from the v1 firmware to the v2 firmware now today uh, we launched our v2 lightsaber soundboard which only supports the v2 firmware because it carries all of the legacy features of the v1 firmware anyway and it's important to understand how to add fonts to this board now that we've officially launched the v2 firmware and the file name and structure is pretty much set in stone so let's say for example that you purchased this board and you didn't need any SD card with it because we do sell them with default files on SD cards if you did want that but let's say you bought one without an SD card because you had an SD card at home you would just come down here and you'll see we've got up-to-date downloads and documents including the latest firmware manuals configs and default SD packages and it can all be found by clicking here this will take you to our downloads page we released our v2 firmware in March 2021 and due to the semiconductor shortage it took some time before we actually managed to produce a new batch of boards with the hardware improvements that we made and we're here sort of eight months later and they're they're now in stock so that's good and you'll see under v2 downloads we've got our manual which you can download we've also got just the standalone firmware file if you did want to run the bootloader again by putting the firmware file in the root of your SD card and booting up the verso some people find that if they re-upload the firmware uh, if they think they've had any issues they can just do so by downloading this we've also got a default SD packages which is what we're going to be doing today because we want to have those default files and we've also got the default configs so this is more for if people have made a change to their config and maybe they've think they've made a spelling mistake or they think maybe they've missed something they can get the defaults from right here depending on whether they've got a tri crease setup or a neopixel setup so we're going to download these default sd packages i'm going to download both just to sort of show you how they are so we'll you click these you'll be taken to a google drive link and you can download that and just for uh, archive purposes i've made a uh, folder here called verso which is where your download would be and depending on whether you downloaded the Creo pixel you'll get two different zip files inside those zip files will be a normal folder called default SD package Cree or default SD package uh, pixel and inside there you have the files which are meant to be in your root of your SD card or home directory so if you buy a Verso soundboard without a micro SD card and you have a blank one at home when you plug it into your computer and you've got your formatted micro SD card with no files on it you would copy these files into the root of your SD card the home directory so that's the home section of your SD card you would just highlight all you don't need the firmware.bin file because you've already got the firmware uploaded onto the board so you could just transfer these files over so what I've done is I'm gonna open up here Verso SD card and we're gonna pretend that this is our SD card that we've got so let's say I want to have a default SD package for Pixel. I plug in my SD card, which is here. I highlight this all. The board is already flashed with the firmware, so I don't need the firmware file. Control C, Control V. And we'll move all of those default files over to our SD card. And now we've got a perfectly formatted SD card ready for running on the Verso. You'll get one of these cards anyway if you choose to buy one with an SD card. And like I said, we've also got a tri -Cree version. And if you were doing tri -Cree, you would simply copy these files over. So now we've got our default SD card on the right hand side. And this is what you'll get as standard. You'll get a light font, a default font, a dark font. And you'll also get a fire font with the pixel because we actually have a fire style blade. And that's the sound files we use for that blade. Now let's say we go onto Kyber Phonics website carbophonicfonts.com and we want to download one of his fonts and we choose to download something like ESB Graphics so let's say we want to download ESB Graphics we can click on that and we can click add to cart we can check out we'll get a Dropbox link with a CFX Profi and Verso folders and we obviously want to choose the Verso one so in our downloaded font section we've got our ESB Graphics Verso and you'll see we've got all of these files here so usually when I'm working on files or sound files to be putting onto my SD card, I'll have two windows open, my SD card on the right hand side and the font that I'm going to be adding. So this is our ESP Graphics Verso font. We know already 
just by the files that are present that this is a v2 font because we've got the presence of accent swings we've also got uh, end locks deflect sounds and these sounds are present in the v2 firmware so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just control c control v copy that over and now we've got our esp graphlex verso font inside the folder however we need to do some checks to make sure that this font is perfectly set up whenever i do that i'll open up the font and i'll list the files out and then i'll go and take a look at a default font which we can do within our sd card we can take a look at the verso default and we'll take a look to see if all the files are present now we've got 16 accent swing sound files and we've got 16 here as well it doesn't matter if we had 12 uh, but we just want to make sure that we've got our accent swing files we've got four blast sounds in our default however if we look here we don't have any blast sound files now this could be that jesse still hasn't fully updated this font now we don't have to worry about that because what we can do is we can copy them from another default font and put them there just until this font is fully updated for the v2 firmware jesse will be going through all of the fonts that he offers to make sure they're all ready for the v2 firmware so we're just going to copy and paste those over and that will allow us to have a full font so we'll just highlight these four Control c Control v done we'll look at boot now this is a bit difficult to notice but you'll see boot even if there's one file there there's a sequential number always following the sound file so we've got boot one however we've only got boot and then two three four five six so 10 to 2 are all named correctly but this should say boot one so we're going to rename this and put boot one now the board will be able to read it so we've got all our boot sounds which is great clash sounds we've got 16 clash sounds here we've got 16 clash sounds here which is good so we'll go to our deflect sounds we've got eight in the default which is great we've got eight also in our esp graphlex verso we've got our end lock files and we've got our end lock files here perfect font we've got font.wav lovely we've got hum hum we've got lockups which is great we've got four lockups here which is perfect now we've got our low battery files now the thing is on the v2 firmware these files here there's nine of them these are what we call global sound files meaning that they sit in the root directory of the sd card and they don't actually need to be inside all of the individual font folders however them being there is going to have no effect so you can just ignore those if you see them in one and not the other just make sure they're always in the root of the sd card so we can ignore the fact that there is no lowbat.wav file in here because it doesn't matter it's not required whatsoever we've got our off sounds we've got 10 of those and we've got two of them here which is fine on we've got 10 in the default and we've got four of them here which is perfect and we've got six swing pairs each for the highs and lows required by smooth swing and we've got two pairs each here and again if we look closely which we're trying to do by checking them against a default font we notice there's a lead in zero here that lead in zero is going to cause problems this is how they were named on the v1 firmware but it's not how they should be named on the v2 firmware so we need to go in there and remove those lead in zeros if you add a new font and you're having problems with font sounds playing this is often a common reason is that whoever added the font or the customer that's added the font hasn't checked to make sure all of the files are named correctly so a crucial stage of adding new fonts is just have a default one on one side of your computer screen and use that as a benchmark for checking the new font that you're going to be adding to make sure all of the font files are there the only files that you don't need to worry about really are these nine so if you don't see any of these named nine named files in the new fonts that you're adding it doesn't matter because as long as we have those files in the root of the SD card, because they're global sound files, they'll be played regardless of whether they're in here or not. We just want to make sure that they're here. Okay. So like I said, the fact that this one has lowbat.wav, but this one doesn't have lowbat.wav, doesn't matter. So we've now got a fully correctly named font, and we need to tell the Verso how to read it. And the way that we do that is with the config file. So we'll double click the config file. You need notepad to be able to use it. 
and you'll see we've got all of our settings we've got the fonts that the board currently knows about we've got our effects section our presets our blade colors our blade styles and we need to tell the board that we've added a fifth font the way that we do that is because we've got a smooth swing font that we've added in we can just copy one of our existing ones we'll do two spaces after font four we just press enter twice and we can name this font five remove this because font five isn't called that font five is called esb graphlex verso so we're going to right click on there rename control c put that there and we're going to save our config by doing this the config and the soundboard now knows that there is a fifth font inside the SD card. So now the board knows that it's there. Now, how do we tell the board to play these files? We do that in the preset section. These preset sections is what you'll cycle through with your secondary button, or if you're using a single button when you double tap, this is what you'll cycle through. These three numbers mean color, blade profile, and font. CPF. So using that logic, preset one is blade color one, and blade color one is a red blade because RGB, these three numbers mean RGB. RGB 255 means red at max brightness, zero, zero means green and blue are off. So that means preset one is a red blade. The second number means that it's using the blade style number one. So we go to our blade styles, which are here. Flicker type one, random, and flicker range 100, 100. This means that this is just a static blade. There's no flicker. It's at 100% brightness and 100% brightness. So there's no flicker in between. And then we've got the details of our clashes, our lockups, our blasters, etc. The third number means what font it's going to be playing. And we, like I said, we've got a list of fonts. Font number one is Verso Dark. So preset one means that it's a red blade with a non flickering blade style and it plays verso dark sounds. Perfect. Number two would mean it's blade color two, which is green. Blade style two, which is a light flicker, meaning that it flicker two is 90% brightness to 100% brightness. So we've got a very mild flicker and it plays font number two, plays the verso default font and so on and so forth. So preset three runs the verso light and preset four runs the verso fire. And that's why blade style four is fire because it matches that. So we want to be able to play ESP Graphlex Verso and we want to make sure that it's some sort of blue blade because it matches the style of the ESP Graphlex. So we're going to go under preset four. We're going to type in preset five because we're adding a fifth preset and we want to have a blue blade. So we'll go through our blade colors. And if we have a look here, blade color three, there's no red, there's no green, it's just blue and it's got white flashes on clash, white lockup and white blaster effects. We can put number three there and it will use blade color number three. Now we've got to choose our blade style. So let's say we'll, we'll have a bit of a more intense flicker here. So this one, we've got it flashing between 80% and 100% brightness. So quite an intense flicker. I quite like that. And that is number three. So we'll put a three here, comma, and we've got our last number which needs to be the font. And because it's font number five, we're gonna put font number five here. And we're gonna file and save that. Now, we've got our font in the SD card. We've told the config that that font is there. And we've now told the soundboard what to do when playing that font. And we can close this. You can eject your SD card and put it in your Verso and it'll be perfectly working. So that's how you'll add a V2 font to your verso now let's say we've got a font that only has the files from our v1 firmware so this is scavengers destiny which is a ray scavenger style font and this font if we have a look only has the files from a v1 style font there's no accent swings there's no lockups there's no end locks we've got these leading zeros here we've got our unmute files in there and so on we don't we don't need these and we need to be able to make it a complete font. So let's go through and do that. So we'll copy scavengers destiny over. We'll go to our config quickly and we'll let the board know that that font is there. 
So font six. And it's called Ray Scavengers Destiny Verso. Perfect. We need to add a sixth preset. Preset six. So let's say for now, we can use the RGB color code chart. So RGB color code chart, rapid table. So a yellow blade is probably a lighter yellow, 255, 255, 51. So we'll change blade color nine to that. And that means our blade color nine is now a yellow blade with white flash on clash, lockup and blaster. So we'll play nine is our blade color yellow. We'll do the same type of blade style as preset five, that intense flicker and number six, which is our sixth font scavengers destiny save that now the config knows exactly what to do and we'll go through and fix any missing files by taking them from another font so we can go to our desktop our verso sd card we'll go to verso light this time and we'll check the file names so already we know that boot should have a one next to it so we'll fix that leading zeros we're going to take those away because that's a common problem. Go through all of those. We don't need the unmute sound. We don't need mute. We don't need low battery. We don't need color because they are all global sound files. And we'll just take the accent swings from here Uh, we've got no blaster sounds, so we can take those. We've got our boot sounds, we've got our clash sounds. We haven't got any deflect sounds in here, so we can take those. And the end locks. We can take that. And we notice we haven't got a font.wav sound, so we'll, we won't know when the, the board is on that font. Now, because there's not one there, and we don't want to take the Verso Light one because we don't want to cause confusion, normally what I do is I copy the boot sound and I just rename it font. Dot wav. And now we've got the same font sound as the boot sound because that will be unique to this font anyway. So that's the best way of it telling us what font we're on. We've got our hum sounds. We've got no lockups. So we can steal those. Put those in here. Uh, low battery. We don't even need that. So technically we can just delete that anyway. Off. We've got those. We've got our on sounds, which is great. And we've got our on sounds here. And we've got our swing sounds. Now, we've just taken a V1 font. We've added some of the uh, additional files that we would need from an existing default font. And that way we can have a fully working font until Jesse has the time to update all of his font range to support the V2 firmware and the V2 board that we've just released. Now, once you've done that, you can just eject your SD card, put it into your save bar, boot it up, and it'll be working perfectly. So, I hope this video helped, guys. If there's any more questions that you guys have, just feel free to leave a comment below and I'll be happy to help. Again, this is carbophonicfonts.com website. You can also get fonts from K Sith Fonts, I believe. He's got a website, K Sith Saber Fonts. He also makes fonts for Verso. And you can also contact these guys if there's any files that are missing and I'm sure they'll help you with that. We've also got Fonts by Fours as well, which is a good font maker. I think he's on saberfont.com and he's also got a Facebook page. See, we've got Forza FX. You can speak to him. And we've also got saberfont.com, which is a great resource for sound fonts. We've also got Lord Blaco sound fonts, which I'll show you. Lord Blaco, he's on saberfont.com. I think he also has a Facebook page. As you can see here, Lord Blaco sound fonts. If I have missed anyone, feel free to comment on the video below and uh, I'll happily put your details in the description. And like I said, if you have any other questions, or anything else or help that you need with regards to adding fonts, just let me know. You can leave a comment below or send us an email. But hopefully this is a good visual guide to show you how to add the font successfully so you can get the best experience out of your Sabre. So with that being said, guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope this helps. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.